join my sister-in-law Linda and myself um, on our day trip to Chatsworth House. Uh, Chatsworth House is in the Peak District. Um, it's a beautiful house. Um, there's also a Christmas market. Now this video is going to focus mainly on, on the um, Peak District as we go and actually on the Christmas markets. You'll have to watch Chatsworth House number two to see actually around the house. There was just far too much footage. I've taken loads out but it was so spectacular I just couldn't stop filming. Here we are on the coach on the way to um, Chatsworth. Um, a lot of you will probably remember Chatsworth because it was used, it's been used in many films, you know. The one that you'll think of the most is uh, Pride and Prejudice. You know, it was Pemberley and Pride and Preju Prejudice. It's also been used in Peaky Blind Blinders. Um, it's been used in The Duchess. I don't know if you remember the film The Duchess. Lots of films and TV movies set in. It's beautiful. And th this is the beautiful Derbyshire countryside that we're taking you through. Uh, the Peak District it is in England. I just thought you'd like to see some of the um, beautiful green countryside. Um, actually, um, there's rain forecast today, so <laughs> it's unfortunate, but who cares? We're on the coach now on the way there. I'll just uh, let you see some of the countryside as we move along until we get to, um, I wanted to say Pemberley then, but Chatsworth. Just to add that I've always wanted to go and see, um, I have been to Chatsworth House before, but I've always wanted to go and see it dressed for Christmas because it's absolutely spectacular, as you will see in the next video. Just look at the lovely houses. Amongst all this beautiful countryside. Can you see the church spire in the distance? I did get quite a good view out of the coach window. Here we are, you can see Chatsworth House in the distance. It's a beautiful sweeping drive as you go down. Can you see all the cars parked? It's so popular at this time of year. It's owned by the Cavendish family. It's the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire um, that live there at the, well, the, it's their home. It only opened up last week uh, for the public uh, for this year. Well, it's probably been open earlier in the year, but it, it has been closed for a while because obviously it's a family home. Look at the beautiful gardens. It's absolutely spectacular as you're driving down, seeing all the um, trees and lovely autumn colours. I mean, many of you, if you've seen um, Pride and Prejudice, the film, you'll probably recognise this as Pemberley. We're just coming up to the car park now. Well, this video is going to feature on the Christmas markets, and here we are at the Christmas market. Now, what I liked about this market, I've been to lots of Christmas markets, and most of the items on the Christmas markets are the same in all the markets, but I thought this one was a little bit different. There was lots and lots of local produce, lots of UK produce, um, and you know, um, um, like crafty thing, like, like this is um, a vineyard, like um, an English vineyard, which was really, really nice. And there were there was lots of like there was Christmas pudding shops, and um, look, you can see there three for fifty five pound. Uh, a very there was a whiskey one as well, um, which um, was I like. Oh look, can you see the macarons? I love macarons. Um, I'll show you when we get to the uh, whiskey one and tell you a little bit about it. This was like a jewellery made. Um, because the area is well known for um, a semi-precious stone called Blue John. Now, I love these hats. I, I regret not buying one of those hats. They were £20 each. There's my sister-in-law looking at them. Can you see those black clouds in the distance? 
Unfortunately, they did open up a bit later on, as you will see. I wanted to just film the countryside here so you could just see how lovely it is. The Christmas market had only just opened, um, I think, a few days before we went. As had the house. Now, this was a lovely stall. It was all different kinds of Christmas puddings. There were some gorgeous ones. We were going to go back and, and buy some, but we just ran out of time, really. And we didn't want to carry them round. That's the problem, carrying the things round with you all the time. There was lots of music as we went round as well, but obviously with YouTube, you can't put the music on for copyright. Now this man's going to tell you about his whiskey. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on YouTube. Would you like a wee taste? A nice wee bramble gin. What about a nice brewder? Whiskey with honey and sloes. Bramble. There you go. I was going to buy a bottle of that whiskey for my son and daughter-in-law because they like um because they were Eiley whiskey Eiley is it Eiley whiskies, um, but it was they were called Morrison's and I thought they'll just think I've got one from Morrison's, um, but anyway I think it was very good whiskey it was quite expensive. This is a flavouring com uh, company, and then this pottery was absolutely beautiful. This was stunning. It was like, oh, they were like mistletoe and decorations, all made from like hammock copper. Like, it looked like bunches of mistletoe and things like that. It was quite stunning, really. They decorated the, the, each little hut up. Lovely. This was beautiful luxury dog beds. They were gorgeous. I'd love to got Betsy and Mabel one, but I didn't fancy carrying them round all the time. But you can just go to the markets. You don't have to go into the house all the time. Look at this one. Isn't this lovely for autumn? Really decorated lovely. These preserves, they look lovely. It was all so nice, but can you see the clouds getting darker? Another whiskey counter. They all gave you samples as well. If it, We declined a lot, but I think we only had one, but they, they were giving you samples. This is like a little bar. Now the clouds, as you can see, are getting darker. Can you see those big black clouds? It was a beautiful view though. Just look at those clouds. <laughs> you just know what's going to happen, don't you? That was a champagne bar. We didn't go there either. You could have bought lots of Christmas gifts though. And as I say, you can just go to the market. You don't have to pay to go around the house. That Nottingham lace stall was lovely. And here we're going through into it. Like, it's like a courtyard. Um, this is where the gift shop is. It's a fabulous gift shop. Um, I mean, it was so busy. They had like a one-way system around it, which was unusual. And they'd like very cheap gifts and very expensive gifts, as you will see as you go around. This was like a, um, well, an iron horse or something. I don't know what it was made of, like a, a metal sculpture. And this is, oh, I thought that was in the gift shop, but I was wrong. This is telling you about the Cavendish family.
We've now gone through to the gift shop. Some beautiful Christmas things in the gift shop. These advent calendars, well, you'll hear how much they are. They really were the ultimate uh, advent calendar. I don't know whether you, you picked it up, but uh, one was the smaller one was £799 and the larger one was £7,499. I did ask the lady if they ever sold any and she said last year the larger one they sold four of. So there's four lucky people at each um, door. I mean, it was a beautiful advent calendar, as you would imagine. Each door uh, was a piece of jewellery and um, the whole calendar was made to look like Chatsworth House. It, it was spectacular, but, you know, for the rich and famous, not for us. But nice to see. It was really nice to see. There was lots of lovely gifts. Some of them were quite reasonable. But not the advent calendar. <laughs> Right, I think we've come out of the um, the shop now and the rain's come down or come in. You can see it, can't you? It poured and poured down. Then it fined up again. This was a bar. We've sort of come into the gates of the house now, as you will see. They, they were all lit up. It did look very pretty. We're just now in the first part of the house. I'll just give you a little taster. Um, there's only a few shots in the house because that's going to be in a separate video. I do hope you've liked this. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe. Um, I try and do all sorts of different things. Um, this was lovely. It was a lovely day. Beautiful Christmas trees. And if you get the chance to visit, I really would. It's, you know, I think it's about £32.50 to go in the house, but well, well worth it. It's spectacular. You'll see in the next video. Anyway, I'm going now, so bye for now.